Hi, I'm Andy Lira, and uh, I'm the project manager for the installation and operation of the first plastic to oil machine that is installed in North America, right here at PM Recycling. With this machine, we can take uh, absolutely worthless plastic that is economically unviable to sort and process and ship out, and we can upcycle it into a fuel that is worth a lot more money. We are the partner company uh, with Blessed in North America, the Caribbean and Latin America. And what we do is we design, develop, and distribute the uh, plastic to oil systems. The equipment was originally developed in Japan, and Mr. Nakajima is the uh, developer. The company is Blessed and they started about 12 years ago. The entry into North America and to Canada happened in the last uh, year or two. Andy and the Yukon College contacted us and we started a discussion about a year and a half ago and that eventually led to the implementation of the system here in about September of last year. So plastic starts out as oil or oil byproducts which have a carbon molecule chain about eight or nine long. And during the process of making the plastic, those are combined in order to make a chain roughly about 28 carbon molecules long. So what we're doing is we are chopping those chains back into the short eight or nine molecule chains in order to create the oil. Uh, the output of the plastic oil machine is a uh, synthetic mixed light crude oil. So it's basically very similar to diesel. It has some gasoline in it as well. But uh, when we mix it uh, with diesel, it can be burned in a regular furnace or uh, actually in a diesel engine as well. The different phases the machine goes through is first off, we take the plastic that comes in from uh, mixed recycling and it goes through a granulator which reduces the size and then the conveyor transports it into the load cell of the machine and then it goes into an extruder and into the heating chambers and in the heating chambers is where the temperature is brought up to 450 degrees Celsius and at that point at 450 degrees Celsius the plastic starts to break down and pyrolyze. And then in the condenser, the temperature is brought down and that pyrolyzed gas condenses into oil, which collects into the offtake tank. One of the other advantages of this machine is that it is actually lower carbon emissions than recycling or incineration. So this machine can output a maximum of 10 litres of oil per hour. So it's a real simple equation that works out to one kilogram of plastic plus one kilowatt hour of electricity equals one liter of oil. So for 12 cents a liter of oil, that is pretty darn cheap. The funding came through uh, Yukon Research Center and uh, Cannonor. Um, and also Pat McEnroy at P&M Recycling has put in quite a huge sum of money as well in order to purchase some of the peripheral equipment as well as power upgrades necessary for the machine. We always try and promote recycling no matter what it is. Uh, the problem here is we have such a time-honored tradition of getting money for our recyclables that that's what the ones that people really worry about. But now with this there's a lot more energy and a lot more uh, social conscience on trying to get as much recycled as they possibly can because now they know they have a viable alternative and it's not just a troublesome product for us anymore. It's one that we can turn it into a product that's of use to the Yukon. I get calls every day from other recyclers in North America. They're telling me they have 30,000 kgs of plastic sitting in their yard that they cannot move, that no one wants to buy it. And they are looking for different options, and this is a totally viable option for, for their situations.